Welcome to another episode of 7 Must Have Killer Plugins for WordPress. Today we're taking a look at episode 5, which is the Vscript Video Aggregator, a great way of bringing video from all over the web onto your niche targeted blog. So let's say for instance you've been blogging about a particular niche for a while, maybe that could be Hollywood directors or singers or maybe it's a football club or it could be actors, it doesn't matter what the niche is, you found out that video is a great way to help bring people to your site. Now you can do it the slow way but obviously there's also a much quicker way to get content directly onto your blog and that's by using the tags that other users have placed onto content on such sites as YouTube and other video sharing sites. You're going to bring in that niche content, selecting by the process of like using the right keywords, the type of stuff that you know your viewers are going to want, and then bringing it all to one place. So you can create a one-stop shop for Britney Spears or Manchester United, it doesn't matter what it is. Vscript's going to help you to do that. And what it does is it will fetch content through your keyword searches and bring it directly to your blog. If you want to, it's also going to automate the entire process and actually publish them directly to your blog for you. So you can sit back and let the video part of your site run itself. It's also going to help you to monetize by allowing you to use AdSense and placing the blocks automatically around the content. All you have to do is put in your AdSense code. So first of all, let's go and grab it. Now you do this from the Vscript website which you'll find linked at the bottom of this video. Now the next thing you need to do is pay for it. Unfortunately this one isn't free so make sure you go through PayPal and get yourself a copy of that and when you've got it you'll be able to FTP it up to your website. So in the usual process what you need to do is go to WP Content Plugins folder and drop the Vscript file, which is a PHP file, into that. That will upload for you. Then you need to do a tiny PHP tweak, but don't worry, we'll take you through this. It's nothing too complicated. Basically, on the Vscript website, go to the installation page, and if you scroll down, you'll see a section that says Step 2 Automation. Now, in that section, you'll find a little bit of code, and all you need to do is copy and paste that code, and you're going to take that to whichever theme you're using in WordPress and place it in the footer PHP file. So all you do is, it doesn't matter where, just open up the right section, just dump it in, and then make sure that you click on the update button. Now if you're not exactly sure where to find that, let me show you quickly. First of all, you need to go to presentation, then go into theme editor. On the right hand side, you'll have a list of all of the PHP files. So all you've got to do is go to the one that says footer PHP, and that's where you're going to put your code, as I've just shown you there. So it's really simple, that's the place to put it. Just make yourself a little space somewhere in the code and that's where you'll place it. So once that's done, you're ready to activate the theme. So that's really simple. All you have to do in your main WordPress menu is to go up to the plugin section and choose the first option, which is plugins. From there, just find the Vscript file among the different plugins that you've got there. I've already got this one activated, but if you haven't, just scroll over and make sure you click on the activate button and then that will be ready for you to use, creating a whole new menu in WordPress. So the next thing you're going to do is configure it. So here you find that you've got the Vscript menu, and here are some different options here. You've got Vscript, Automate Blog, Download, Add Blocks, and so on. So click on Vscript first of all. And this is where you can auto-add videos. Now what you want to do is think of a really good keyword, because if you're too broad here, you're not going to bring in content that's of any use. It's going to be too generic. You're going to get all sorts in. So if I just type Britney, that's not really going to do it. But if I have Britney plus Spears, or I put it in quotation marks, Britney Spears. If my blog is a Britney Spears blog, obviously I'm going to bring in lots of content there. The more exact, the better. So you can come up with even better things to definitely make sure that you get the right kind of content. Next, choose how many videos you want it to bring in, with a maximum of 12 the category that you want to place it in in your blog and then choose from the different options that you've got for the video services available. Now those include YouTube, Dailymotion, Metacafe, Yahoo and Brightcove. So you've got a good range of places to find your content from. Finally, this will bring in comments for you and if you don't want them, don't worry, they can be deactivated. But if you want it to filter for bad language, that can also be done. When you're ready, click on Add Posts and that will bring in those five posts for you and tell you that they've been added to your blog. 
This is a great way of creating really simple content as an addition to the blog that you already have. So let's have a look, here's the live site and as you can see now it's brought in five different videos as I requested about Britney Spears from YouTube. And if I click on one of them you'll be able to see how that looks. So here's a page that I've just brought in one of the selections and it's brought the video in for me. I've got my ads directly underneath and if you scroll down you'll see it's also brought the comments over from YouTube to get that conversation started. Again this is something you can turn off if it's something you're not interested in having but it can be a nice feature just to make sure that you get kind of some comments there to encourage other people to comment. The second option on the menu is automate your site. Now you don't have to do this but if you want this as a second part of your site you want to concentrate on your main blogging you can create an automated video site so first of all you're going to give it a name just so you'll be able to identify it and once it's got a name you need to say what it's going to be about so it knows which keywords to search for and then you need to tell it how many posts to bring in where it's going to bring the posts in from and then finally you can select some parameters as to how often it's going to post. So is it going to post every hour? Is it going to post once every week? Is it going to post once every month? You can choose some parameters down here so it knows how often to put out posts. And there you go, you've got an automated video site. Maybe some people are going to prefer to do it the other way around that I showed you so you can have a bit more control. But if you get your keywords right, this could be a nice way of just adding some extra content to your site. Another option you've got is to download any of the videos you've grabbed. So you just go over on the right hand side and you'll see download next to the video title. And this is a way if you want to grab those videos for your own use and to run from your desktop rather than online, that's possible. You can also add adverts and this is really easy. You just tell it how many blocks you want and then give a name to each of those blocks. Just so you can identify them as you would with any um, advertising like AdSense. Once you've given them a name, You'll see I've given them add 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, not very descriptive. You'll want to use more descriptive terms, but here's just for our example. Once you've selected them, you just put in your code from Yahoo, from AdSense, whichever you're using, and then you can add those blocks in. And you've got a block management system down below so you can delete them and keep tabs on them as you go. You've also got a section in the same menu to keep track of your advertising. So you can do that right from here as well. And that's going to give you all of the vital statistics about your advertising. As you can see, these haven't been set up yet. But if you scroll along, you'll get all of the vital stats of each of your ad blocks so you can compare which ad units are working and which aren't. So that's all there for you to use all within this automated system. So pretty comprehensive. You can bring in videos, you can monetize videos, you can even automate the publication of videos with this and there you go. So let's have a quick look at an example. For instance, let's say you're writing a, a blog about Manchester United. You may have a, a blog like this and you decide to add a video section to the blog and then using the keywords that you, that you want to bring videos in about, you can basically add them automatically to the site. Obviously the more focused you are on the keywords, so the things that are right up to the minute, the more focused your videos will be. This has been a screencast by Michael Pick for Tutorial and you can find out more about me at michael-pick.com and this has been a production for Splash Press Media.